Well, a New Hampshire-based anti-Islamic group has filed a federal lawsuit against SEPTA after the agency refused to run a series of anti-Muslim ads on SEPTA buses. Reporter Cherry Gregg of our sister station, KYW News Radio 1060, has the details. The ads are incendiary. They include images of Adolf Hitler and American journalist James Foley kneeling next to his executioner just moments before he was beheaded. Speech serves its highest function when it when it you know creates conditions of unrest, so to speak. Robert Muse represents the American Freedom Defense Initiative, an organization founded by conservative blogger Pam Geller. The group has sued to run the ads in New York and D.C. and won. So Philadelphia could be next. We're not new to this uh, litigation. Uh, we, we know our way through the, uh, the law. And Jacob Bender works for CARE Philadelphia, a group that works to fight Islamophobia. He says they support free speech, but condemn the content of the advertising. The content of the ad is bigotry, prejudice, Islamophobia. Temple Law Professor Burton Cain says the First Amendment makes clear all speech, even alleged hate speech, is protected. SEPTA is wrong. The people who are suing it are right, and it couldn't be an easier case. Lawyers for AFDI say they plan to file a motion with the court, and they hope to have those ads on SEPTA buses by the end of the year. A spokesman for SEPTA declined to comment. In Center City, Cherry Gregg, KYW News Radio for CBS3 Eyewitness News.